Hi guys, um, the bag I'm going to show you today is, I would say, a complete classic from Mulberry. Um, you see it in lots of different places and um, it's a unisex bag, or rather I think it was actually designed for men, I would say. Um, but mostly you see it on women, it's a small Anthony. I've done a review before on the large Anthony. I've owned a different um, Anthony or a couple of different Anthonys before and then sold and missed it and then bought one back again. And I thought um, I'd better make a re review whilst I'm still making up my mind whether I'm keeping this one. <laughs> but anyway, so there it is. It's a small Anthony, and as you can see, um, it's in oak uh, with the brass hardware. Um, it has a webbed strap, um, which is very adjustable. And I'm not going to tell you from which drop it goes because it, it is really, because you can see you can adjust all of this. Um, and it takes me ages to like get move it all the way down there. But even if you're very, very tall and you find it difficult to find a bag that goes cross body, this one will most definitely work. I know lots of people who are tall and bigger than me and, this, and it works absolutely fine cross body. Now, sometimes this strap, the hardware, um, is sort of round um, and doesn't have any mulberry branding on. Sometimes it's like this and you've got the mulberry branding on there and it's... Um, with like this, I mean, it's um, hard edges. So um, don't be put off by either in terms of authenticity. And as I always say, if you have any doubts, um, spend the five pound, get it authenticated and authenticate for you or um, switch online services. Anyway, but the bag, very simple design, um, oak um, NVT on the back. That's pretty much it, just flat sides and it just flaps over and closes with a postman lock. So before I show you what fits in there, let's do some quick measuring. We have a width of about 20 centimeters, height uh, 21 centimeters and depth 7 centimeters. And that's how I Wear it. There you go. And you can see it sits nice and flat against the leg, or probably wear it a lot higher up if you prefer that as well. Now, before I unpack, um, I'm going to tell you what I really like and what I don't like about this bag. What I really like is that it sits flat against you, that um, once you have it on, it, it feels really secure. Um, the strap doesn't have any. Um, buckles or anything, doesn't get caught on anything, doesn't press down on anything, so it's it's very comfortable. Um, it is um, quite roomy, even though it's a fairly small bag. It is um, it kind of kind of disciplines you though into thinking what you really need to take. So and I actually quite like that about it. And it's oak. I love oak. Love oak with the. Um, with a brass hardware, it, it just wears so nicely and um, it has this really nice feel to it. I'm just a sucker for Mulberry Oak. Um, what annoys me a little bit is that um, I'm really used to, when I have my mini um, Alexa, which sort of fits a similar amount, she's obviously flat and she has a handle at the top. So if I wear a crossbody, I could just pick her up and pop her down something somewhere. Now this bag, um, doesn't really stand anywhere so if you want to put it down somewhere you need to set them down like this which obviously takes up a lot more space so if you're in a shop uh, you're looking at a, a counter or whatever and you want to put it down um, you put it down like this as opposed to a small bag that could just stand up like that he can't do that um, and also he doesn't have a top handle so he's just lying somewhere and you just want to pick it up or whatever you, you, you can't really do that I think um, I've spoken to a couple of people who use that um, um, and they they don't get what I mean at all. Um, and the, the other thing that doesn't work as well for me is that it's a very deep bag. So obviously all your stuff, some of your stuff will be sort of sitting down there and other stuff on top. And I like my bags to be like a box where I look at from the top and I see everything in there. And obviously you're done with that. So you kind of, you'd have to know what's down there or you have to rummage a bit. But anyway, you want to know what's down there, so let's have a look. Um, we'll do the, the features in the end. So I've popped in there my inhaler. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze my iPhone 6. 
my <coughs> there it is excuse me um my mulberry french purse which is quite chunky and quite fat which is why um one of the reasons why this outfit is quite stuffed a little shopping bag that I fold up um and then because um when you open this one what do you always need with what um actually tissues i took them out earlier well they would have fitted here on the side as well and then i've got my little um midori um small style in the uh, from naked cow in the what are they called field mode size um so this is a complete luxury to carry around with me Normally, if I go out just to the shops, even if I have my little one, I probably have my purse, I'd have my keys, and they actually did fit in there early. I have my phone, a couple of shopping bags, um, and tissues, and that's it. I just took this earlier because um, I, I had something written down on there that I wanted to make sure I have it with me. Now, in terms of features, um, as I said, flaps over, you've got a little slip pocket here so if you have a small mobile or um, maybe a bus pass or something you want to pop in there that's really handy and then you really you just have that one cavernous which you can't really see because it's too dark um, essentially it's self-lined so it's the inside of the leather which looks like suede you've got the mulberry imprint um, with the tree on the fob and the number on the back um, and then typically you will have a maiden label. Um, and that's pretty much it. Don't really know what else to tell you. You've had the measurements, you know what fits in, you know what I like, what I don't like. So um, have a look at the at my review of the large one from quite some time ago. If you think, oh, I really like the style, but this one might be a little bit too small. Um, and other than that, hope you found this useful and let me know what you think. Bye.